if you were looking at it and take history out of the equation of the Jets, right, they eliminate it all, right? The, the fear, the negativity, kicking the tin can down the street. If you take, a, you know, all the, the fact that this team has not made the postseason since 2010, you know, the, the Idzik era, Rex Ryan toward the tail end, you know, the, the drafting of Sam Darnold, the drafting of Zach Wilson, the fake spike by Marino. You, I mean, you throw it all out the window, right? All the, all the failures, all the cries, all the tears, all the anger, all the angst, and you just look at this team on paper. The Jets can win a Super Bowl this year. And that should be the expectation is to win a Super Bowl this year. And this is not a fanboy where, you know, as you know, I grew up a Washington fan because of John Riggins. Even though Daniel Snyder, when he was owning the team, no longer does. Josh Harris and company do. Uh, but, you know, that was my fandom growing up. So this is not a fanboy putting the jet underwear on in the morning and, and uh, you know, putting my Al Toon jersey on during the course of the afternoon. Or Joe Namath or Kenny O'Brien or, you know, Jeff Lagerman. I mean, putting all those jerseys on. That, that is not the scenario here when you look at the Jets on paper. This Jet team, whether Hassan Reddick is part of it or not, are built to win a Super Bowl this year. Those are the expectations, nothing less. Not to be a playoff team, not to just win the AFC East, to go out there and win a Super Bowl. Now, do things need to go right? For sure. But here's the interesting thing when you look at the Jets this year. The interesting thing is everybody and their mother just wants to lean negative because that's the easy thing because you don't know any better. Because this team hasn't made the playoffs since 2010. Because of the very fact that, you know, you've seen whatever can go wrong has gone wrong with the New York Jets. But on paper, there is nothing outside of injuries, and it is a barbaric sport, there is nothing that should hold the Jets back. Even Rodgers coming off the torn Achilles, being in his 40s now, only having played four plays last year against the Buffalo Bills. You know, maybe the only, the biggest concern is not the roster, the biggest concern you'd have would be the coaching staff. But you expect Rodgers to make up for the inefficiency or deficiency, I should say, of Nathaniel Hackett as offensive coordinator. You expect Rodgers to make up for the inefficiency or deficiency when you look at the head coach in Robert Sala. You look at Rodgers is going to make a lot of things right with this team that went wrong the past couple of years because make no bones about it. This team stays healthy. And I know it's a barbaric sport, but that's an argument for every team in the National Football League. Any team goes out there, they lose their star quarterback. You know what? That season is going to look entirely different. Just ask the Cincinnati Bengals when they lost Joe Burrow and other teams over the course of the year. Just look at the Jets last year when they lost Aaron Rodgers. Everything looks decidedly different. However, there are some coaching staffs in the National Football League that can adjust to those injuries. There are head coaches, OCs, defensive coordinators that can go out there and adjust to those injuries and still put a representable product on the field. We didn't see that last year with the Jets, especially when Wilson was at quarterback and Nathaniel Hackett was the offensive coordinator because he is no rocket scientist when it comes to play design and play calls. You expect Rodgers to make up for all of that. But if the Jets go out there and stay healthy this year with the adjustments that Douglas made in the offseason to the offensive line, with Rodgers being 100% healthy, with the brilliance of Garrett Wilson, with the talent they have in that receiver's room, if that offensive line stays healthy, the Jets' offense should be remarkably productive, more productive than they were a year ago. And they don't even need to be great because you know what is great on the Jets, whether Reddick is a part of it or not, is the defense. The defense is great. They can get after the quarterback. They got guys on the back end that can cover. Should the pressure not get there against the opposing uh, against the opposing quarterback, their defense is going to be not a top not a top ten unit, not even a top five unit. You would go into this season where you would expect the Jets with Quinn Williams and Quincy Williams and Jermaine Johnson and the three undrafted free agents that made the 53-man roster, even Reddick not being a part of it, even with the loss of, you know, Huff in the offseason, even with the loss of the trade of John Franklin Myers to the Denver Broncos because the Jets couldn't afford him, even with all of that, this defense this season is going to be great. That's why everyone gets caught up when you talk about the Jets and you talk about the brilliance of or what Rodgers needs to be. Listen, 
Rodgers doesn't need to be the MVP version that he was with the Green Bay Packers. That's not the version of Aaron Rodgers that you need to see this year for this Jet team to be really good or to be Super Bowl great. He can't be inept because that's what we've watched the last two years, ineptitude. There have been historically great defenses in the National Football League. You can rattle them off, right? You think about it. It was Derek Brooks and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. It was Saragusa, God rest his soul, and Ray Lewis and the Baltimore Ravens. You go all the way back to the mid-'80s, and it was, you know, it, it was, uh, you know, Dent and um, Mike Singletary uh, and the Chicago Bears, led by Buddy Ryan as the defensive coordinator. There have been great, all-time great defenses, that have kind of led the way. But you know what? They had a quarterback that was in place, whether it be McMahon in Chicago, whether it be Brad Johnson in Tampa, whether it be Trent Dilfer in Baltimore, that were able to go out there and get the job done. Now, is Rodgers going to be better than those guys? Yes, he will be. As long as he stays upright, as long as he stays healthy, he'll be better than those guys. But the point being is this. Going into the season, even though you have the questions about this Jet offense, especially when it comes to the offensive line, if these guys can stay healthy up front, if they do, they'll be remarkably better than the group that took the field a year ago, and they'll be able to do the job. But if that group is able to stay healthy, this Jet offense does not lead to, need to lead the way because it's the defense that will always will. And the focus is on Rodgers for sure, no doubt. And I get it. An all-time great, four-time MVP of the league. You know, it is. he came here because he grew tired of everything in Green Bay, and the Green Bay Packers at that time were ready for a divorce as well as they've moved on to Jordan Love as their uh, you know, franchise quarterback, and they paid him during the course of this offseason. But that relationship, as many do, right? I mean, if you, you know, marriage is tough. There's no doubt about it. My wife tells me that every day. Marriages can be really, really difficult. And there's no question. And listen, we all get it. Whether you're in a relationship, whether you're marriage, you know, sometime, some point in time, you know what? You get tired of hearing the other person's voice. You get tired of hearing the excuse. You get tired if they don't evolve. Get a little personal here, but you get the point. The same thing rang true in Green Bay with the Packers. They grew tired of Rodgers. And he came here to the Jets. Is the Jets made it easy? It was a nice landing spot. But make, make no bones about it. Rodgers has only won one Super Bowl for as great as Aaron Rodgers has been over the course of his NFL career. And he's one of the most physically gifted quarterbacks that I've ever seen. Mahomes is more gifted for sure, but Rodgers is right there, right? And there have been all time great quarterbacks, Marino comes to mind, that never won a Super Bowl. Rodgers has only won one. You would think a guy that was as good at the most important position in the National Football League as Aaron Rodgers is would have accomplished more in terms of the team game than the individual aspect. He's already a four-time MVP of the league. I'm talking about winning another Super Bowl. He came here because this would be the cherry on the top. To win a Super Bowl here in New York with this organization, with the Jets, that give him a chip in the big game that nobody else has. Aside from Joe Namath, nobody else does. For an organization that knows how to lose, for an organization that knows how to embarrass themselves, for an organization that makes winning very, very difficult to come here and win here would be a remarkable accomplishment. And that is what is on the table. And everything is in front of him. And when you look at Rodgers and you look at when he has been able to play with all-time great or great defenses, he's won. He's won. Not won the Super Bowl, but he's won. I would expect nothing in the less. I'd expect nothing in the less. I don't think Hackett's going to get in the way. I don't think Salah's going to get in the way. I really don't. When you look at this roster and you look at the Jets roster and if you're taking all the failures of the past and putting it aside and just handing it over to somebody who's watching football for the first time and you look at this Jet roster and compare them to other rosters in the National Football League, they are right there as one of the most talented rosters in the National Football League. That is true. There, That is unquestioned. 
Now, when everything else comes into play, that's when you lean negative. That's when the Jet fan has the fear. The Reddick situation. Will Salah get in the way? Will Nathaniel Hackett get in the way? Will the offensive line protect? Will Rodgers stay upright? Will he stay healthy? The difference is this year, should Rodgers go down for a game or two, you actually have a backup quarterback that you could play and you could win with with Tyrod Taylor. You didn't last year with Zach Wilson. And that falls on the general manager. But give the general manager a lot of credit this offseason. Realized weaknesses to this team, went out there and addressed them. He's got the playmaker of Mike Williams. As long as that hamstring holds up, coming off the torn ACL, they can play alongside Garrett Wilson. He's got talent in that running back room, whether it be, obviously, Hall is an absolute stud. Then you throw in Allen, who's going to be that short yardage back, kind of grinder, 20 years old, coming out of Wisconsin. We know how they produce running backs that produce in the National Football League for the most part, outside of Monty Ball and outside of Ron Dane with the Giants. But guys that you know, and this guy does not have the tread, still has the tread left on the tire. There's nothing stopping the Jets this year but themselves and the negativity. So I ask all Jet fans here on this Wednesday morning is this. Instead of leaning positive, you know when you throw something out there and then it comes to realization, you want to go out there, you want to be an investment banker, you want to work on Wall Street, you want to have kids, you want to go out, and you, you want to own a car, whatever it might be. Career-wise, right? If you're a Jet fan, you wake up on this Wednesday morning, you say to yourself, the Jets, repeat after me, the Jets will win the Super Bowl. The Jets will win the Super Bowl. That is real. That is not being a, that is not going out there and just being a positive Pete. Glass is half full. The Jets can win the Super Bowl this year. You look at the AFC East. It's a winnable division. You look at the AFC, I understand you still have the Chiefs coming in. At some point in time, the Chiefs are going to lose a big-time playoff game. You've got the quarterback in place. The offensive line has been addressed. you got a playmakers at the wide receiver position. you got talent in the running back room. The defense is as legit, whether or not Hassan Reddick is a part of it or not. The defense is as legit as it possibly can be. So instead of going out there and expecting the negative, instead of kicking that tin can down the street and being comfortable and the woe is me and Beningo, who I absolutely love, and saying, oh, the pain, lean positive. Be a positive Pete as we're leaning toward Labor Day. It's careening. Summer is coming to an end. It's going to be 95 degrees outside today. The NFL gets going in a week and a half. Repeat after me. The Jets can win and will win the Super Bowl. I can't believe I'm saying it, but I am.